Well, guys, we are here with Eddie. Uh, he owns Drapel and also the uh, website pinballleds.ca. Yep. Yep. All the descriptions going to be in um, in below, so you can always hit the links and you can always order if you like. So what we're doing today is, and Eddie, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Sterns. So let's look at this. So Stern, the new modern Stern, which is Spike Two, have limited power for mods. Is that right? That's correct. Tell me. Normally, if on old my old turtles, would my own like like these old games, right? Yeah, so you can you, you can mod. To, if you go to ACDC, yeah, you could tap onto a light bulb on right. the play field and, and do your matrix line uh, strips and put an LED strip along the back, do your right. trough, uh, and and add all your mods on it, and you have sufficient power to run everything. Got it. Okay. On the more modern... So this Stern, is Spike 2, yeah. On Spike 2. So what they've done, if anybody uh, is creative enough or has the initiative that they want to do this, you meter one of the lights. When the game's on, you can meter the lights. Right. And they're actually 4. Point, uh, was it 4.45 volts. Right. So everybody knows that on a moder on the older uh, Stern or whether it's a Williams Valley, right. um, you have 6.3 volts. Wow. Okay. okay. So there's a big difference in power. Right. So if you try to attach a matrix, uh, let's say whether you want to do an LED strip along the trough area. Right. Or if you want to add a, some lighting at the back of the game. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So you can do like a, a, a two foot strip along the back. Right. Uh, you won't be able to attach it to any of your light bulbs on the game. Now, the, what will ha you can, but what will happen is it's going to so flicker. It start, the game will turn on, everything will go fine, and then every 10 seconds you'll see the, the lights flicker. Right. And it'll flicker, and it'll continue flickering while you're the playing whole game. the game. Right. Yeah. So, well, so you have, and then Eddie has this on his website. Now, so, explain this, because now so even my... What we've done is we have a buck converter that we have set up in, on uh, the buck converter gets plugged into the stern board. There's a connector on the side. Okay. We sell this all on the website as well. So you got your, your connector, you plug it in. Uh, I like to mount it on the back of the board because this will give you a, a digital readout of 6.3 volts. Which we're going to we see. Yeah, we'll see it. And then what I have is I do one output for your matrix connectors. Because for your matrix, you can branch off like a like a tree right. and go in any direction you want and, and, and add all your mods onto the game. So what we've tested this on so far is we've done uh, an LED strip on the back head, right. uh, two on the lower uh, underneath the cab. I've done the fifth, uh, two foot strip along the back. I've done the trough. I've done the plunger kit, light up kit. Right. And there's enough power to even do your your the lit buttons, yeah? Yeah, lit up buttons as well. So we've tested it. We know that it's capable of doing it and it's capable of running your uh speaker LED kits. So right. just to make it a little simpler for us because we, you know, um this side here is how your original speaker is right. laid out. So it's the metal plate. Yeah. And then you have your speaker on the top. They put like a little sponge. And underneath is that uh, little uh, plastic that lights up. The film. On the game, the yep. film. So what we've done is you t we've taken the upper speaker off, taken this off, taken the little uh, plate that's underneath. Yeah. And we've taken it off, put it to the side. And then I have a, 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 a kit that goes underneath. Right. And then we add these little standoffs Beautiful. on the four posts. We put our plate back in, and then we insert the, the speaker parts, screw it all back on, and then don't forget we have to put this back on the inner, just like on this side. Beautiful. So then, then, and there's no more extra hardware either, no. other than the standoffs. Very simple. Beautiful. If you look at the plastic kit on this side here, I don't know if you can see it on this side. Yeah. There's a lip. It actually holds your monitor in place. Ah, it's right there. Right. I see it. Yeah, okay. it's like a three, four, like half a centimeter. Yeah. Yep. So it's a nice little piece that uh, that it's all 3D printed, um, and it's translucent plastic, so it gives a nice. Uh, it's a glow. Glow afterwards. Right? So cool. Now behind you, Eddie. Um, so that makes so, sense. So Tell with me. Yep. this, yeah, on the buck converter, if you can see, I'm going to pull this up because I like to tuck it all underneath right. afterwards. Yep. So you can always branch off on this stuff. So what we do is, so normally it would come with the plug that plugs in and this little adapter here. Right. 
And then what I've done is I've added an extension kit to it. Right. So now I've branched off again. I always tape the ends. So this end is the same end that was originally here. Right. Because you don't want to short this out You're on right. anything. You're right. And, I, and on these games, there's a lot of metal yep. everywhere. Back here, it's all metal at the bottom. So what I do is on the same buck converter, we're going to power our LED kit, speaker right. kit. For RBG and it's this one, uh, this particular kit uh, will go to the beat of the music. Beautiful, and it'll it'll be interactive. That's cool. Okay, so what I usually do is I just take the excess, I just tuck it underneath. Yep, neat and tidy, so that it's all underneath the play field. Yeah, not snagging on anything. Eh? No, because no. there's nothing really. These cabs, there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> it's underneath. True. Any, not it's, compared to the old. It's yeah. empty compared to other yeah. the other cabs. So then I just leave it. I usually take this, there's the clip there, and I leave it up. So that's your IR for your for the uh, your speakers. Yeah. Now this the kit that we have is fully uh, Alexa or um, Google compatible, so you can you can integrate it into into your app. That's cool. And where you can turn it on and off right. with all your stuff. So we've done a couple of games in here already. Um, so. Um, it works very well and then you can label it uh, so uh, this one in particular we'll show you on the phone afterwards I've, I've labeled it as uh, TMNT yeah so that I know uh, when I want to turn on the games or turn on the speaker kits or control it I know exactly which which uh, what the label is on on my app perfect okay. now this buck converter yeah. how many more amps or volts or whatever does it give you? So this one, will, so, will this will right now. I have it set. I pre-do them to about uh, three point two amps. Nice. You can go up to five amps. Uh, I do it uh, just because we've tried all the mods that you can add on, and I don't think you can add anything more. But I mean, if you want to go crazy, go crazy all you want. Right. Um, and then what you do is, uh, let's say we added too much current uh, to the line. Right. So on this side over here, you've got two lights that come on. They'll start uh, flickering uh, red. Mm -hmm. And then all you do is you can take a screwdriver and then you slowly turn this one slightly, slightly, slightly until until it peaks off and this goes back to the green state. So it's almost like a power supply where you just turn yeah. the, the, yeah. Volt, the, uh, the amps up. Okay, yeah. that makes yeah. total sense. Now, and, and then yeah. doing it this way, everything's on this circuit. Yeah. The worst thing that's going to happen to this game if something goes wrong, right, right, is that either this blows, right, right, or you blow a fuse that controls the out that output there right. for, for the twelve volt out on right. that board, right. That's the worst you can do. Okay. At least you're not damaging a circuit on your boards by trying to wire it to a bulb or some other uh, power source right. On, right. On, the, on the boards, and and I, this way you're you're just segregating it or removing it from the loop beautiful and then okay. on your kit everything you obviously have it explained it yeah. comes with it easy it's easy to do easy easy to install i mean like anything else i mean you have to have some mechanic you got to be mechanically inclined you got to take these screws off yeah but you this is easy stand off so it's pretty straightforward yeah. we're, we're going to try to do this one where we take all the screws off okay that way it's all videoed uh taped and the guys can see what what what's required and then we'll go into uh, the connectors right. and, and connecting it to the circuit here in order to, uh, to close the loop. And then we'll, we'll, we'll turn it on and test it and make sure that the speakers are working good. Once we've done that, then we're going to start with the matrix line. And Beautiful. That's this connector on this side here. Which right. connects. Now behind you, show us uh, tools of the trade. So here's kind of the game plan. So what we're, what we're looking at doing here today guys is we got the magnetic clips that we're going to turn on and we're going to put these on and light them up that's cool though so the so hinges the, we have the hinge kits that are going to go on right and guys they're just magnetic oh wow and Look then we'll, go, we'll go through the whole thing on how to get this wire in the cab it's going to go into this matrix line that we have in here and i'll show everybody how to how we branch off like a christmas tree or like any trees, you, you right. know, branch it all off right, right. And, and, and connect everything as one circuit. Beautiful. Okay, So we're doing that. So we're going to do the hinge. And then on the hinge kits, all it is is we're going to do a, a, a one to three split. 
We're going to use two connectors, and that's the transformer for each of the hinge kits. Beautiful. And they just plug and play. Now, a lot of the guys, if you're looking at the uh, forms and you're looking at uh, hinge kits, you'll notice on the majority of the forms that they're all 12 volts. Uh, ours are, everything on this is, you can connect to the matrix system. 6.3 volts. Nice. Everything works, um, including the, we've just done these ones out. These are so cool. This is going to be on the site shortly. And they're light up. Uh, the apron cards. Yeah, yeah, the apron cards. Okay. So uh, because it's we're keeping to the theme, we wanted to keep it green. Right. So these will light up with green in the background. And these are all, it's a translucent film. Okay. I can see it. Yep. And then I just put a little piece of tape underneath it just to keep it in, in place. You're not really going to see it when it turns on anyways, but uh, that's cool. again, this uses the same transformers and it's all 6.3 volts and it's all wired to the matrix connector. So it is plug and play. Plug Beautiful. and play. This will plug into the other plug here and then that's your circuit out and this is where your power is going to come onto this end and it's very simple, very simple and uh, um, not, not too complicated. We tried to keep everything at 6.3 volts, that way it makes it easier, you can just Add to or branch off and keep adding and adding and adding to the you the got it. and then also you're saying any that we're going to do the plunger lit up right yeah. is that right so we're so. going to do a, a light up kit for here I think we're going to just keep everything to the green theme right now so this is going to be lit up green yeah we're going to do uh, the green LED strip in the trough area yeah and then we're going to come to the back we're going to take the play, play field glass off I'll show everybody where. The strip goes along the back, right? So you don't see any of the LED lights. All it's going to do is it's going to illuminate the back. Beautiful. And um, and it, it actually it makes it you get a nicer effect when you're actually playing the game because it really lights up this area nicely. Very cool. Okay. Okay, Eddie. So, so let's start. Why don't we cut yeah. away? What are we gonna? What's uh, what do you feel like doing so first? So what we're gonna start off is because we've already done this circuit here, right? Right. And then what we want to do is take this speaker off. Okay. Right. And get it prepped uh, to put the speaker kit, which is right over here. Okay. So when I when I do the uh, speaker kits, I like to um, I like to put the actual connector at the bottom corner. Smart. So if you notice, it's on the corner here. Yeah. It'll be at the bottom corner on this side as well. And then what we have is a nice, neat... Like a T-splitter, yeah? A T-splitter. Beautiful. This will connect to this side. That's going to connect on this side. And this one will go to the... Oh, that's over. so neat and right? tidy. Just for this purpose, I put it I put it up here. But it's going to come out. The only thing we usually leave up here is the... The, the RF, RF, yeah. yeah the that RF. makes sense. So and it recognizes sense. the foam. Yeah. Okay. That were the, the thing. Okay, cool. So we're going to cut away. We're going to start to show you... Yep. A, um, how to do the speaker it should be easy and we'll uh, we'll be back
Yeah, that shit. You should see my mods on my other turtles. Oh, so, spaghetti. So look how easy you that got is. the arrow and the arrow. Okay. Put the two together. And then on this side, you do the same arrow and arrow. And then on this side, it's the same thing. You got to flip it. Arrow and arrow. And that's it. So if we can, we're just gonna. I'm gonna there. Okay. And that's our matrix one. So really, that's that's it for the speakers right now. Okay, so speaker's done. What's next? Two. Okay, so you just turn the game on, and then this is again, what's this called again, you said? It's a it's a buck converter. Buck, okay. So, yes, so the 6.2 is the volt, and you're saying you can turn that up, or is that mm. already up? So, your amperage is what you're going to, it's already preset that we can do up to uh, about 3.2, 3.3 uh, amps. Right. If if it exceeds, like right now you're on blue, so that means that everything's nice. Right. It'll turn red and it'll start uh, flickering. So then you, we can just crank this up a little bit to give it a little more. That's amp brilliant. Amp nice. Right. Very cool. So now are we going to see if the speakers that we've done uh, light up? Yeah. Okay. So we we have our stuff connected. Perfect. All right. And the buck converter is on. We can get the digital readout, so at least we know it's on. So right now, you're not going to see any amperage being used because we have nothing connected to that matrix line yet. Got it. Okay. okay. So the circuit that that the the controller's on, right, is coming straight from the 12 volts of the out that this is plugged in because mm -hmm. we did the other adapter that I showed you earlier. Right. And then what that is doing is it's plugged in to this so we got 12 volts over here that's providing 12 volts to this mm. okay. okay so now we're going to close this okay and then what we'll do is just so everybody knows um so anybody that has uh amazon alexa um or the google one right Oh, the Google. Uh, I'm using the Alexa one. So you have your Alexa, Amazon app, and then I have Smart Life. So this falls under Smart Life for the speakers. Okay. And uh, they manufacture uh, um, electrical outlets and all kinds of different uh, neat little products that you could use in a house. Uh, you can actually turn on individual games if you want uh, using their adapter. So when you click onto there. Cool. And it's just TMNT. So I have it set up uh, as TMNT. Yep. And I think I might have to turn it on the first time with... Uh, oh, to sync it or yeah. something, right? Then maybe it's something that may be snagged in the back. Oh, there. no, it's not on yet. Ah, there we go. Okay. There's a lot of metal in these heads. So it's blocking so it, the RF. It, it will yeah. block that RF signal, right? So now we got it on. It's already set to our speech, so you can hear us talking, and it's kind of mimicking and changing colors and things like that. So could, because we're talking, it's talking, and then that will then reflect the game. And Eddie, you can, with the remote, you can make it stay a certain color. Yeah, you can, if you uh, want you it can... green, you could have it solid green. Right. So depends on what you want to do. So like if you want to, um, like right now, I, I believe it's on setting two. Right. Right. So what we're going to do, just because the signal is horrible in here, uh, I'm going to set it to green and then it's going to stay green it won't it's not going to change colors or anything it'll just stay in that mode so it depends on what you want for the game the green looks nice because of the 
the trim and everything and right. it kind of blends in nicely, right? And you can intensify. But if you want it, yeah, and you can atten intensify it. So if you want it really, 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 really bright, um, we can... Right now, I think it is at the highest. Yeah, so you can do like yellow. If you want yellow, if you want blue. Yeah, that green was nicer. That one's nicer, it did's darker. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. But it, it depends on what you want for the colors, right? If you want red, it, it just depends. And you can make it flick whatever you want, right? That's it comes exactly. and your kit comes with all this, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you want it just to be like uh that's the lighter. Yeah. It looks I like the dark one. It looks better in person than it does over. I'm looking at the camera, but yeah, yeah that looks cool. Yeah, so you could leave it in that mode. So for now, we can just leave it like that if we want. And it's in that mode. So, probably took us uh, to do the install, probably around taking all the screws and everything, let's say a good 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And then now we're gonna go and we're gonna, we're gonna start with the, the back glass. We're gonna take that off. And then what's next on the game plan? The so, uh, strip? We're going to do the strip on the back and we're going to do the magnetic clips on uh, Alrighty, so the, uh, Eddie, the uh, lights on the speakers now are lit up. Hey, by the way, Eddie was saying you can, if you wanted, get a white clay plastic diffuser. Hey, boys. Similar to how Monster Bash is, so you don't really see the individual LEDs uh, like that. So there is a way to do that as well if you want to add and diffuse the light more of a like a haze but anyways let's get to it now we're putting on the hinges uh, hey you cheeseboard not gay man yeah. where do you fucking oh. go <laughs> if you want to grab me those two <laughs> yeah that one. both yep yeah. okay <laughs> right, what, so what we're gonna do is Son of a bitch! Yeah, son of a bitch. And these are pre-made when you buy the kit, yeah? Mm -hmm. They're already ready to plug and play. Uh, yes. Okay. Beautiful. So we've got one side in. So this is magnetic, perfect, and you don't have to, and you can take it off if you wanted so to. I'll show you what we're going to do afterwards. So we can hide everything. It's going to go underneath the head. It, but if you see the connector on the inside, it's, they're very small, right? So you've got to make sure you got it pointed the right way. Okay. For the connection. Yeah, and you can hear the snap, yeah, right? So it's, it's, snap it's, nice. it's into place. So now we have the two, right? And all we do is we just lean the head forward a little bit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to drop one in on one side. And then we'll drop the other one in on the other side. Makes sense. Okay. So once once we got that there, it I, depends on which side you want to go. I know we have the buck converter on this side. On the left, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to kind of leave everything we're on, the right, on yeah. this side over here, right? So that little wire that's there will not impact the head or um, or anything like that, is that right? No, but anything else, like you always got to make sure you're not pinching something, right? Because, ah, that's right. Because look, you got your your bracket here. Yeah. You know you're going to put a screw in there, so you 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 want to make sure you're not yeah to pierce it. An actual yep. wire, so I always tuck it in, and I kind of bend it inward, and then I close it down. Right. Once I got it down, I'll put the screws in. I won't tighten it completely until we know everything's working. It makes sense. And like anything, the Stern uh, 2 uses, I think even the, yeah, they use um, bolts in the, well, people would know in the back. No. Okay. So they're just there. Okay, so then we have it sitting over here. And then we're going to do a little, a little cable from here and bring it into our connector here. Beautiful. Okay. Let me get on the other side so you can do your thing.
This is the nice thing about matrix stuff. You can just it snap in, snap man. In. And everything cuts it comes in your kits. No dicking around, no uh, splicing no, wires. No splicing wires. And then we have the end here. We're gonna take this end here and we're gonna snap it into the end here. And then I just heard the light come on. So now look at your, your so buck converter. In. You got 0 0.192 amps, and if you look at the sides, the lights are already on. Ah. Look at your side here. Should, ah, they are. It should be on. They are. Beautiful. Now, the camera won't pick this up because my light. Yeah, it's not going to pick up the green. But it re in person, it looks really nice. Yeah, the green's going to look white on your on your camera. Yeah, but it's not. It's a nice yeah. green. And keep in mind, this is magnetic, so you, you just adjust it and make sure it's all lined up nicely. Beautiful. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Very, very cool. And then, so, uh, Eddie, you said that, see how it says now 0.91 amp? That's the load you fit into it. That's how much exactly. that's taking. Yeah. And then, so you have up to 6.28 to max out, per se? No, that's your voltage. And then you, and your amperage, uh, I've got it preset to about 3233. Three, three. Okay. You can go up to 5 amps if you want. Up to 5, and okay. And you can just adjust it accordingly. And you can turn it up similar to a power supply and yeah. add more. Yeah. Dope. Very cool. All right. Okay. So we're going to cut away. Next, uh, what's the game plan? What are we going to do? We're going to do the LED strip along the back. Beautiful. And then uh, and then we'll move to the trough uh, area. And, and then the plunger. We'll do the scorecards and, oh, right. and the plungers. Okay. All right. So we're back. And now we're going to do the uh, strip on the back. So what's up, Eddie? How are we okay. going to do so don't worry about this yet because we'll clean this all up afterwards. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll tie them all up nice and nice. But, so this is the strip that goes along the back of a game. And now you have these on the website and they're yep. already pre-measured. Yep, and they all have your matrix connector. So simple plug and play. We have our adapters here. So we have the two on the side for the uh, hinge kits plugged in. And then we're going to plug this into one of these connectors. <laughs> Sorry, that game. Right? I know, that game is a little too much. So what I like to do is I always keep the connectors to one side. Makes sense. Try to keep it to one side. So once we're going to once we're gonna go along the game, we're going to do the trough. We're all going to go down one side of the game. Beautiful. Right? Keep yep. it all nice and neat, right? So the way I do this, a little different than everybody else, I don't want to see the the LED lights, so I just pull this off. So double, so it's tape, yeah, like yeah. a 3M tape or whatever, yeah. Yeah. I'll put this over here, and then we'll start on this side. So if you look underneath, on this there's a lip, there's a piece of wood here. Yeah. And there's a lip on the back of it. So you can see my hands behind it. Yeah. So I put it behind the lip. So you don't see the LED lights. You won't Got see it. the LED. So I'm going to start off on this side here. I'm going to go closest to the end. And then I'll work my way until I get to the end here. And then how forgiving is that? Just say you screwed it up and you angled it wrong. Can you undo it really quickly? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, good. But if you force it in, like right now I got it snug. Yeah. It's 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 in it's now. pretty much in, okay. Yeah. So that's your wire that you're gonna have. And then I usually tuck it above. So there's a little metal bracket here. Yeah. I tuck it above that metal bracket and I bring it behind. Smart. Okay. And then plug and so play if to the plug that it thing. in right now. Oh, you notice the light. light came on. Beautiful. Okay. So now you're not going to see anything, but you can see the light. Yeah. And when the play field's all the way to the back, it'll illuminate this whole top with that little green. Beautiful. Okay. Next is, are we sold? That's good. So that's the back is now. good. And then we'll, I'm going to put some ties on this, and then we're going to go and we're going to start our harness that's going to come along the back of the game. For the trough. And then we're going to go underneath and we're going to bring it to the front of the game. Beautiful. For the, uh, the trough. Yeah, and then so, I'll, yeah. So this stuff here, if you bring it all to the back and come out the back here, yeah. 
then you can do one adapter at the bottom here mm. and then have one that goes along the bottom right to the corner here so we can do this and then if we want to do buttons down the road we can do buttons as beautiful well. okay cool. alrighty so now we're at at the uh, are we gonna do the apron uh, yeah, so we're cards gonna first do the apron and then the do the trough yeah and then what we'll do is we'll lift the play field up we're gonna send it down to the back of the game yeah and then we're gonna do one cable with a connector and we're gonna bring it back on the lower part of the play field so we can do the the, the uh, plunger trail. Okay, cool, okay. let's do it. We'll start off, we'll take the cards off. And I believe this is a screwdriver on this one. Yeah, and regular Phillips. I think this is the one where they put the screws underneath too. Yeah, see there's a screw right here. Huh. I don't know if you can see it. I do, I believe yeah. there's another one right here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get that out. Let me see it. I think that's the... So screw, screw. Let me show you guys as well what I just said. Yeah. Oh, right there. It's a different... Uh... So you need like a nut driver for that, right? Yeah, so let's see if this is the right one. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. So we'll take this one off. I'm not sure why they did this. It's very uh, inconvenient, especially on uh, Stranger Things, because you have the little screen monitor ah. and everything, and the projector. It, it just makes it really awkward to do anything. And then there's a washer, so you got to watch it because it'll fall. Yep. So what he's going to do that? So we're taking the apron off, and then. I'll come around here, and then this is what we're going to be uh, putting on. Uh, these are Elip, um EL panels, right? Right there in the washer. Yep. The EL panels. And yeah, they look really, really cool. Okay, so now we can take this off. And I think they did this because, if I remember, these light up. Yes, on the game, right? you're right. Yep, and there's an SMD yeah. right there. Yeah, so they got one uh, sides. Okay, so we'll take this, we'll put it over to one side. Okay, so we're going to start with the, the trough. We're going to keep it to the same theme, everything green. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use, a, I believe this is a 20 SMD. And then we'll do the same thing, we're just going to take the tape off. See if you can get it off. Super tape. Hmm. So you can do many different things. So if you're looking at the strip, so if I want to cut it, as long as I cut it in between, so in between that little gap, that gap, that gap, right? You're fine, right? You don't want to cut it between the circuit. You're going to cut in between here. Nice. Okay. Good to know. Okay. I use it all, I even wrap it around the back. There's no sense in cutting it all completely off. Adds a little more light, I guess, a little more illumination. Nah. Uh, may well you it's won't behind. really see it, but... But why, why screw something? Just tape it, right? Yeah. yeah, so I usually go up right to the, the top. And right around. Beautiful. Okay. That's it. And then it's available right there. Beautiful. And then we're going to put our splitter in here. So we've got a, a three-way. And then we're going to take this. Actually, it's a two-way. We need a three-way. So three because one for the trough and then one for each EL panel for the uh, yeah. score apron, right? Yeah. So yeah. now we got that set up. Then we're going to take, do it easier. I'll bring this back. Now that this is kind of in front of me on the side here, we're going to just slide this back in. You've got to make sure you get your holes. You don't want to scratch your play field. So 
So now I got it here. So we're not... So now, the only good thing about the newer games is they leave this nice wide gap. In yeah, the middle, you're right? right. So now I can play around. Oh, with this. you're right. And I want to lift this up. I'm going to lift it up to bring my cables all through this side afterwards. Okay? Smart. But I'll show you what we're going to do. So we'll start off with... So on the kit, usually you're going to get it. It's all, it's all apart in, in pieces. So you're going to have that, your transformer. So that's the, the exact same one on the... Exactly. On the thing, yeah. On the, so uh, the longer uh, one is always your on your left side. Because it apron, has to go here. Because it has to go to the other Got side. Got it. Okay. And then the right apron is always shorter. Okay. Cool. The way this is designed is you can easily take your connector, put it through the hole... If you go to the bottom, you can grab it from the bottom, and then that slides right in. Perfect. You're going to just fold. I always say do it nice and easy. Keep in mind that is like a, a transparent film. Okay? Right. So you, you don't want to damage uh, the, the film because it's painted or it's printed onto a film. Right. Okay. And that's it. So now we got our one apron on. We're gonna take the other apron. And now you can adjust these, right? You can can you cut these or no? They're already pre-cut. You don't want to overcut it. Okay. Because there's there's an actual the way this works is there's this chemical. Right. And inside here there's a, an actual chemical. And then there's a line that goes across and the and it's actually sh lighting up, it's it's shorting out the chemical. And that's what get, makes it illuminate. Ah, neat. Right? Okay. So it's not actually a light. Right. It's a chemical that's lighting up that gives you the effect. That's right? neat. Yeah. So now we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to tuck it in. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to come out here, we can go from here, follow a harness, and go all the way around the back. Right. Without having to do anything. So right. now, always be gentle on the corners because your connectors are in here or your right. power circuits are in that section right, right. there. So you're just going to gently put it in. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. And then you're going to, I usually fold the two in and then I, I do the top and then I'll do the other side as well. And sometimes you'll get a little bit of popping out. Yeah. Now again, you can press it down. You can play with yeah. it. Yeah. I only put the tape in so I can just jiggle it a little bit so okay, that it lines enough. it up. Yeah. Okay. But that's all the tape's there for, yeah. and you really will never, ever, ever see it. So now we got our two connectors here, plus we have the third. That's the from the LED strip that's in the trough. Right. So now I'm going to take, so as you can see, we have our two open circuits. We're going to take the end of the transformer. We're going to plug it in, and always make sure you're... you're lining these up correctly mm. don't do it the other way you force it in you've just damaged your your connector yeah nice and okay. nice and easy snaps and easy yeah so now we have that in actually i've got it wrong sorry let's put this one here it's supposed to go into this one here okay so that's your your splitter so you have a spare and then you have another connector to add on and extend the, the circuit. So this is the one that's on your left panel. Yeah. Like I said, always line it up. Nice. It's in. And now all we have is we have one line open. So this one here is going to bring down to get the power. So that's your power line, your red and black. Right. So that's going to be where we're going to start tucking, right? And then usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll use a two-weight tape and I'll just tape the transformer over here. Right. And then we'll continue everything down. So we have one circuit left that we could do something if we want to down the road. And then again, you're going to take all this and you're going to neatly fold it tie in. it. Yep. And then you can fold it and, and tuck it in on the top, right? Very when good. you're done, right? But we want to make sure everything's working before we get to that point. Okay, cool. Okay. So I like to use an automotive tape. And I'll grab that tape here. 
And keep in mind it's a transformer, so you, what you're going to do is you, you want to make sure that transformer is not being attached to anything metal. It right, because then you hear a buzz, right? You'll get a buzz. Yeah, stuff. feedback. Okay, yeah. good to know. Uh, Eddie, do you sell this double-sided tape on your website yep. as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I sell it by the roll. Um, and it's about three fifty a roll, $4. Okay. And these are all Canadian prices as well, right? Everything's Canadian. Yeah. And if you if you check on the competitor's website, my prices are cheaper than the U.S. prices. Yeah. Make a mess. Okay, so now we'll take this and you want to make it accessible. So, whether you're going to go somewhere in the back, somewhere here where it's not actually too far back, and then you're just going to, again, this is all going to get twist tied nice and neat. Right, once we figure out, once, once we turn it is on. working and we know that it's all working. Okay. Right? But I don't want to get ahead of the game and start doing that and then all of a sudden something doesn't work. So now that we've got that, we're going to take this connector and then we'll grab a, a three foot extension. Okay, so you can just keep adding and adding to this and we're going to bring this to the back of the game. Okay. Yep. All right, so the play field now is up. So what did you do uh, here, Eddie? You tucked away the okay. wires. Huh? So the wires are all here, right? We still have a connector up here if we want to add. Okay. Right? And then we just looped it around. I always do like a little knot on one of the connectors. Smart. I got one connected. <laughs> yep. And it, we connected it to the, the bundle that was in the back. Beautiful, the right? one that was vacant. Okay. There's also another wire from the back coming along the bottom. And again, you clean this up after you're sure that everything's working on your game. Okay. So now we have this with an adapter at the front of the game. So we're going to do the plunger kit. Okay. And then we'll have some spares to do under cab lighting if you want. Because the right. matrix strip that we used on the back of the game right. is the same strip you can use underneath your cab. Beautiful. Right? Yep. You can even do it on the back head if you want. Yeah. Whatever, it's whatever, totally whatever up to the user, right? It depends on what you want to do. Yeah. Right? So what we'll do now is I'm gonna we're gonna take this off nice and easy. Okay, so we'll okay. cut that off. And then we'll a little screwdriver. So that's the gonna, that's the e clip. Yeah, we're gonna pop this out and slide everything out. Now I usually just leave everything at the bottom of the cab including the little plastic clip and then I'll take this out and I'll leave this all at the bottom of the cab ready to go. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take that screw off. The three or and the we'll four? we'll take the two at the bottom off. Okay. So we'll start off. While Eddie's doing that, where's the uh, the where's the part, Eddie? Where's that? Uh... Okay, so oh gonna... here, here, yeah. Yeah, all it is is a 3D printed translucent piece of plastic, and then all we're gonna do is use this strip here, which is also green. We're gonna keep to the green theme for the game. Yeah, and and that's what's gonna create it. I'll show you how to wrap it on. Okay, it's very easy to do, and it looks nice. Huh? All right, Steve, count down. And three, two. All right, so Eddie, you've taken off the uh, Playfield plunger harness thingy. Yep. So housing, I should say. You, you can technically leave the bracket in place. You oh, don't okay. have to take the bracket. So the two screws at the bottom that hold that plate in, Let me come. you come in the back here, leave them in. Uh, don't, okay. don't even bother taking them out. It's okay. not even worth it. Because I'll show you what we can do. So we're going to take the... Uh, the backing off on this, and then we'll uh, yeah. What we do is so I always want to leave this on this section here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna we'll start it here. 
And all you're going to do is you're just going to go around. Ah, like you do it there, so you don't see the uh, the yeah. actual uh, LEDs. And I'll show Come you on. what happens. Oh. And so you're going to go like this. You're going to come around. And when you get to, you know, we didn't want that to happen right there. Uh, so you're going to push it in. And when you get to this corner here, then you're going to make the two ends meet. So you want this to go as far as it can. Ah, I see. And now Beautiful. you've you've used utilized it all. Yeah, squish beautiful. it together like this. Nice. And now you've used the whole strip, and you didn't waste anything. You didn't have to cut anything off, and this secures it together. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Perfect. You take this cap, and now you're going to take this. You're going to put it through. You're going to push it in, and that's going to give you the illumination. That's your, beautiful. Look how night thing, and neat right? and tidy that is. I love it. Okay, so this is now going to come up, right? And all we're going to do is we're going to take this now. Steve? Yep, yep. let me come over here. Yep. You're going to hold it in the hand. It's very simple. You're going to bring it through the hole along with... You just you got to be a little careful because you don't want to yeah. strip the the cable, but you can slide it in and we're done. So now we got the little connector that we're going to connect our wires to, and now we can start putting the screws back in. That's the little washer that was with the screw. You don't you you don't use the washer back in. So do not use the washer. And why is that, Eddie? Because there's more space you now. Want, right? You want more clearance. Ah, very well. Right. And if you if you put that back in, you're not going to get enough torque in in holding the plate God, in place. Smart. Very smart. Yeah, because okay. you're adding around like four or five millimeters or whatever yeah. how big that is. Exactly. That makes total sense. So now we got one in. You're always going to want to come here on this side and make sure that you have these lined up. Ah, that looks nice. Okay. And you can barely see it too. Look at that. Yeah, you'll hardly see it that it's even there. Um, and then again, take the washers out, make sure you don't use those washers. And then you can put the screws back in. Yeah. Two more screws. It's very simple. It's not doesn't take you a long time to do, but it really gives a nice effect to the game. And that's that, isn't it? Yeah, and then pretty much. It's just the way they did this is very awkward to get something in there. So I'm gonna use the regular screwdriver to get in there, even though it's a little hard because I can't get enough force into it. Okay, so now we're done. And, and then that little, little connector there. Yeah. So what we'll do is so all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you plug it in correctly so the connector is facing down. You're gonna you're gonna push that in. I see it. It's already on. Okay. And then we're gonna take these, we're gonna put it to the side here. Again, clean your wires afterwards. You want to have enough the slack. slack over here yeah. and in this one so that when you're lifting the play field up and Nothing putting gets, it down, yeah. it, you're not yanking on anything. Yeah. Okay. This can all get twist tied afterwards, nice and neat. And then you, you're left with two adapters. So the one adapter is going to be the adapters that we can branch off again if you want to use translucent flipper buttons. Right. And I have the stuff on the website to so that you can actually light them up. Sweet. So I have flex bulbs Beautiful. On, on their website, okay? And they're all for the matrix system. So now you're going to just put, it, put the plunger back. Yeah. Which so Now, are, now yeah. we're going to put this back in. Do you put it back any differently? Any parts no. that are going to be left the same? Okay. No. So if you come over to this side right now, oh, you're yeah. going to see that this is already in place. Make sure that it's all nice and straight when you're done, right? And then if you stand on the side, you'll see that it's nice and lit up. Yeah. Now, again, the it doesn't do it justice with my light here, but it looks yeah. really nice. And later on, we'll see it. Maybe... Make uh, sure you crank 
these things nice and tight because it will move if you don't. Yeah. Especially when you keep plunging and moving. Eh? Oh yeah. You'll you'll see it all of a sudden move. Like right right now it just I got a couple more turns in it. Okay. <laughs> so now this is not moving anyway. Okay. So now we're gonna put actually it was the clear first. And then we put this in. I usually put my leg in there to hold it in. And then we'll get Push this in. And then we'll just push that into place. So Beautiful. that's in. And then now Let the go. now the rubber. Yep. And we're good to go. Just watch on, on this because the screwdriver hits it. Yeah. And we want to make sure we didn't screw anything up with it. And then that black nub or whatever. Yeah. We're gonna put the back on the end. And just so everybody's aware too, we shortly uh, will be carrying nine different colored rubber lines nice. as well on top of our LED line. Uh, so now we got this all set up. We can actually bring this back down. Okay. And uh, we should be good to go, no? Yeah, we should be good to go. So let's do this. We're going to be back. We're going to make sure everything's nice and snug and we'll see it all done up. Alrighty, so Eddie, show us. Here's what we've done. Uh, let's go through it. Lit speakers. We did the speaker kit. We've done the strip along the back in green. The again, this Magnetic. this does not show well. This is not like this dull blue. It's a beautiful green. It, the camera's not picking it up. It comes out white. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but it's actually green. Trough light. We did trough lighting. We did the light up scorecards. Yeah. Right, and then we did the light up plunger. Perfect. Now you were saying that we'll do this in the next video. Yeah, so the next video we're going to do under cab lighting. We're going to branch off on the matrix so it's going to continue nice on the same circuit and then we're going to add some strips along the back of the game to light up the back of the game. Beautiful. So if you had this in your house and you had a wall on the back, you're going to get a nice green on the wall. Beautiful. And the floor. So, Eddie, what we're going to do is, if you guys read in the description below, we're going to have Eddie's website. We're going to have where the links on each part, what to do. This is an instructional video. And because Eddie's been great, he's going to give us a deal. Now, everyone watching, Americans, overseas, Canadians, this is all Canadian pricing on Eddie's website. So with the dollar being the way it is, if you're American, you're bringing it in, you're already saving 25%. Eddie's done a favor for us. And when this video releases, if you go to Eddie's website and the, pro the promotion code is going to be top tier, it's going to be in the description. Eddie is going to give us 15% off on top of already the lower prices, which is bottom line. Eddie, thank you for the video. Do you yeah. want to say anything else about your website? Uh, what else is coming? Because again, we're going to revisit this about other things as well. Okay, so now we, we have uh, currently three, uh, we have white, translucent, and black uh, rubber kits. Okay. So I'm bringing in another six, seven lines of uh, different colors. So you're going to be able to do all red if you want, all blue, uh, actually two types of blue, two types of green, yellow, uh, and orange as well. Nice. Right? And then we're also bringing in uh, nine different um, light protectors. Yes, colors. beautiful. So we're going to have the clear, uh, clear ones, um, same to match the rubbers that I have. Nice. And then uh, we're also bringing in translucent flipper rubbers that we're going to illuminate. Oh, the buttons. Yeah. The buttons. Yeah. And um, we have the uh, Williams Valley legs so that are in uh, black and uh, chrome plated. Beautiful. Um, and then we also have, and when that comes in, we're gonna have um, cup holders, the sliding cup holders. Nice. Uh, and a little different than everybody else, I'm gonna be selling it with, so you'll get the pinball connector for their leg, and you'll also get the video game connector bracket. So you can utilize it. So if you have a video game, and you have a pinball machine next to each other. Uh, you take the cup, you can lift it and slide it into your pinball dope. machine. And then away you go and have Boy, your drink. Right? Perfect, yeah. So, Eddie, so thank you so much. Off. What we'll do is, hey, Eddie, can you turn the lights off? Do you yeah. mind? Yeah, yeah, let me, I want to see what this yeah. looks like without lights off. 
Yeah, this is, mind you, again, guys, if you're reading, if you're finding it's too green, you can always tone it down. Wow, that looks way better. Yeah, man, look at look how beautiful that looks. Very green, everything's lit up. Again, you with the remote, you can dim it down if you want. You have full control over it. You can do it on your phone wherever you want, but absolutely beautiful. Eddie, it's been a pleasure, man. Thanks again for um, hosting the video. Thanks again for Thank being so kind with the Project Discount. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe. A lot more coming out. We're going to revisit this actually more and actually go into Eddie's parts downstairs and see the Drapple store. Again, check out the website. Check out the prices. Uh, Eddie's very cool. He's a pinball guy. As you can see, we, he has thousands of parts and he has so many games. And if you want to always email him, and ask him. He's always ready for you and it's been a pleasure. Thanks for checking out Top Tier. Peace. Thanks a lot, guys.